Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a beauty and makeup empties. I usually keep this in my restroom and I've just been eyeing it the past few days and I'm like, okay, let's film an empties video so I can throw my trash away. And yeah, share with you guys the products that I have finished up in the past few months. If you guys are interested in my makeup look or wondering what I did wear in my eyes, I am wearing the Kaleidos Makeup Palette in Futurism 5. Most of the shades on my eyes is using this palette right here. So if you guys were interested, again, it is this palette right here. So if you want to know what products I have finished up in the past few months, definitely continue watching. Also, if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe. I do upload three times a week, Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out. And yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. I have finished up a lot more makeup products that I haven't shared with you guys. I am going to be doing a year-long empties that I have a bin under my desk. But I also have another bin where I have project pan items that I have finished off as well. So I was thinking, I'm like, I, I always share like skincare stuff that I finish, but not a lot of makeup products. So let me show you guys. In here, um, I do have some empties that I have finished off in this year as well. You can see like a foundation, a concealer, a liner in there. And then I also have more products over here from my year long project pan. So I do finish off more than what I actually like share with you guys. I actually have three more empties from, um, my project pan items which are right here um so if you guys watch my project pan videos you guys are getting a sneak peek so the first product i finished off is the stila one step correct um this is just a um, primer and i do like this primer a lot it does come like in a swirl like three different shades to correct your skin i do like it and then i also did finish off this maybelline fit me matte and poreless um, I have mine in the shade 220 Natural Beige. This was also in a project. I do like this powder a lot. It's really nice. I don't find that it gives me like a lot of coverage. It just kind of sets my foundation. It has really light coverage. I really like it. I would definitely repurchase it. And then I also did finish off my Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I have mine in the shade Light Medium. This is one of my favorites high-end concealers so in my bin i do have this skindinavia the makeup fixing spray i do use these little minis that i get when i purchase like the full sizes um from skindinavia when i freelance so i use this to set uh, my clients makeup when i do their makeup so i do like it i would definitely repurchase it i like picking up the bridal one actually because i just feel like bridal just means like it's gonna last longer but i have a lot of setting sprays in my backup drawer so i don't think i'm gonna repurchase any setting sprays for like freelancing because it's not like i do it like every weekend or anything it's every like few months to be honest so i can definitely just grab something from my backup drawer next up it looks like i finished off a few mascaras so this first one is the tart tardiest mascara i would not repurchase this it's okay i don't really like the uh wand it's like a plastic wand I did use this um, when I freelance and I did find that sometimes I saw like flakiness so I was like it's drying down so I don't need to keep using that. And then this one the Milani highly rated mascara also I feel like the wand is a little too big for my liking. I didn't really like it that much either and also was flaking so figured it was time to let it go. And then this one by Benefit this is the Bad Gal Bang mascara also a plastic wand and again also flaking so i have had a lot of mascaras for a while i don't do the whole three month thing and then chuck it which i should but um again these three have definitely been flaking so these will be added to my actually with this spray as well will be added to my year-long empties that i will be filming at the end of the year i have this beauty sponge i figured it was time to let it go i actually really like it this is by the brand practic it's a sister brand to sigma beauty and i like it it's a little more stiffer than like a beauty blender the real techniques but i like it i don't know i like it i would repurchase it um i did finish off this equate oil-free makeup remover i like it i think it's an affordable version of the neutrogena one and it costs like half the price so i would repurchase that i have my 20 count premium cotton ovals that i use to remove my makeup at night with my micellar water which is one that i do have right here um this is the collab micellar cleansing water i really like this to remove my mag my makeup i find that it like just melts my makeup off the face i don't really have to tug or anything like that to take off all my cake at the end of the day i really like it i buy this collab micellar water at sally beauty looks like i have a neutrogena 
cleansing towelettes, their makeup remover wipes. This is my favorite brand. I go keep repurchasing those. Next up, I have a collab micellar makeup removing wipes as well. I think there was like buy one, get one free. I wanted to get two of these, but they only had one. So I was like, let me go ahead and pick up their makeup wipes. I like the micellar water. I don't like the makeup wipes. I would not repurchase these. Even if they were free, maybe I guess for swatches, but not, I wouldn't pay money for those. I did finish off an ABH Brow Wiz. There's like fuzzies flying all over the place. I wonder if you guys can see them. <laughs> but uh, again, the Brow Wiz by ABH in chocolate. Um, I like this brow pencil, but I don't like the color, so I wouldn't repurchase the chocolate one. I do have some in my backup drawer that I bought during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty steals in the springtime, so I won't be repurchasing that anytime soon. I also did finish off this Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper just a little mini i do like this it's, it it is a brush applicator and i like it it's pretty dark and i like it so i would repurchase that i also finished off this mac fix plus i find that this like really melts the powder onto my face but it doesn't like really make it make my makeup long lasting i do like it i think i have a backup in my backup drawer um but oh i need to save this for back to mac but it'll be saved first for my year-long empties. Next up, I have the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. And I really like this when I freelance because, you know, in between clients, you want to clean your brushes before you continue on with the next one. And this is just really nice because it, it dries, it cleans your brushes and also dries really, really quickly. I would definitely repurchase this. Oh, I also have another mascara by Thrive Cosmetics. This is the Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. And this was okay. Um, I wouldn't repurchase it. I got it for free from my coworker. She bought a full size and they gave her this little sample size and asked me if I wanted to try it. And I told her, sure. And I tried it. It's nice, but it's not like something I would repurchase. I have another brow pencil by Ulta Beauty. This is the Ultra Slim Brow Pencil and also Brunette. I do like this brow pencil, but I would not repurchase it in Brunette. So... We'll save that for the year-long empties, as well as this we will be saving. This is the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. I've had this for so long, for at least two, three years, guys. And I was like, okay, I think it's just time. You know, it's not as pigmented as it used to be. It might be just time to get rid of this. I do like it. It does give me more um, coverage to the brows. I'm not the best at brows, guys. I am just not. I need some brow classes for sure, but... It did the job, so. Next up, I have this Briogeo Rosarco Milk Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. This is a little sample. I think I have a couple more that I've gotten in like for free if, as gift with purchases and also in my Play by Sephora or also my BoxyCharm. We've gotten these before. And I think I ended up using this on my daughter because she has a lot of hair. Her hair is super, super thick and long, so. I just used it up because it was a conditioning spray and her hair, again, is super thick. So I was just using that. Um, I have Cotton Balls by Equate. I use this at night for my skincare. You know, I use it for my toners and sometimes for my essences and stuff like that. I also have another package of cotton ovals. Again, I use those every single night to take my makeup off. I finished off my Julep No Excuses Invisible Sunscreen Gel for the face. It has SPF 40. I did use this to, again, protect my face. I do have some sunspots that I noticed like right here. When I don't have any makeup on, you can definitely see them. My husband's working on the garage. So if you guys hear some tapping, that's what it is. <laughs> Um, and I really like it. I would definitely repurchase that. I am currently using one from Neutrogena. It's like a water boost one that make What Would Lizzie Do recommended. So I do have that. Another brow gel is this one by NYX. This is the mascara, tinted brow mascara in espresso. I don't know if this is the darkest shade. It worked. It did okay. I think I need a darker shade. I'm trying to use up my brow products. I don't know if you guys can tell. I pretty much wear makeup like five out of seven, no, six out of seven days of the week because definitely do it like Monday through Friday if I'm working and then Saturday is usually when I'm filming. Sunday, I do apply a little lighter makeup because I still want to look a little presentable. So most of the time it's like seven out of seven or six out of seven days of the week I'm wearing makeup and brows is definitely something I apply every single day, so. NYX Cosmetics, again, um, Micro Brow Pencil and Brunette. I was super into like warm brows. 
few months back, but now I'm not. I like more cooler tone brows with my red hair. So I would repurchase this, but not in brunette. Oh my gosh, I finished off a lot of mascaras. I have two more in here. This one's the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara, and then also the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara. I got these both. I think the Pat McGrath, I got it with a free gift with purchase from Sephora, and then this one was in my Play by Sephora, I believe. I did like the Hourglass one. I don't remember about the... Pat McGrath, but the one seems like it's kind of on the thicker side, so I would not repurchase these just because I find that drug drugstore mascaras do it for me. I do buy high-end mascaras if they're on sale, especially during like the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty steals when they're like half off. I'll definitely jump on those, but I wouldn't repurchase like a high-end mascara because I just feel like drugstore does have good mascaras, especially Essence. They're like five dollars and sometimes they have like buy one get one free on Ulta. So I do have two Olay Henriksen creams here. This one's the C Rush Brightening Gel Cream and then this one's the Banana Bright Eye Cream. I picked this up because a lot of people were raving about like helping their under eyes and brighten the under eyes. I don't feel like it does a great job on that. I do find that it does like moisturize under the eyes but I wouldn't repurchase this. And then this one I actually do have a full size. I am trying to use up another one that's this size as well so I'm gonna finish off this before I use my full size but I like it because it has like vitamin C in it and it helps brightening the skin one that I do find that it does help the under eyes for dark circles is this one by Kiehl's. This is the Midnight Recovery Eye Cream. This is my second bottle. I would definitely purchase a new one. I ran out. I have a whole bunch of eye creams that I need to finish off. But I'm like, you need to use what you have. So I'm definitely going to finish off at least one or two other eye creams. But I would definitely recommend and repurchase this one. So I repurchased this because this was really drying out. My drying cream was drying out. This is the Mario Badesco drying cream. I used this to dry out my pimples and this is definitely dried out. I was trying to scrape it but I felt like it wasn't really giving the same effect as when I first had it. This helps like if you see a breakout coming definitely apply it and it'll reduce it. You have to be consistent about applying it. I feel like it does a really good job. I repurchased a new one just because that one was dried out. I also finished off two lippy products. This one is by Fresh. This is the Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Treatment. <laughs> I got this in a Sephora play box. I do have a full size, which I'm like halfway already. I like these a lot. I feel like they're really hydrating on the lips. I would definitely repurchase that. And then Aquaphor is also a good one from the drugstore. This is more, more expensive than like a chapstick, but it does a really good job as well. This is the Lip Repair Immediate Relief. Again, you can buy this at Walmart. It costs around five or six dollars, I believe. But if you have really dry lips, I would definitely recommend this. I have an eyeliner in here. This is by Hard Candy. This is the Stroke of Gorgeous Felt Tip Eyeliner in the shade Anchor. It's just like a gray shade that is this is felt tip. I did like this, but I wouldn't repurchase it just because I don't really wear a lot of gray eyeliners. I like wearing brown and black most of the time. And then another Olay Henriksen product. This is the Sheer Transformation. I found that I have two of these backup drawers. It was under my sink. I was just looking through what I had and like I usually put stuff away. And I found that I had two of these, so I need to use those, but this is out definitely have repurchased these and I did enjoy it. It's a really lightweight moisturizer. I have three more products to share with you guys. Next up is this Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. This is super, super hydrating. I would definitely purchase a full size. This is really nice, but it is expensive. I think it's like 50 or $60 for this eye cream for a full size. So it's really nice though. I would, I would like to repurchase that. Another skincare product is by Olay Henriksen. I have this Glow OH Dark Spot Toner. I don't know. I finished this up a while ago. I didn't find that it did much for my dark uh, spots, like acne scars. I don't know. I don't think I would repurchase that. And then the last thing I have is this Clear Apothe Apothecary, Apothecary <laughs> Brush Shampoo. And I got this in a Beautylish Lucky Bag a few years ago. Um, it's just kind of like the, um, the Beauty Blender Solid. It just has a whole bunch more than the Beauty Blender Solid. I think I've never purchased a full size of the solid. So actually, I don't even know how much you get. I use baby shampoo to wash deep clean my brushes. So I don't think I would repurchase that actually. So those are all the products that I finished off in the past few months. Let me know if you've tried any of the products that I've mentioned. What do you think of them? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.